Oh, thank you, Jesus. Ah, my brother, we are preaching resurrection of Christ, my sister. The power of resurrection is here. Just come as you are, brother. Hallelujah. You are crying, my brother. The Lord knows it. Hallelujah. You are weeping. Jesus Christ knows it, brother. Hallelujah. You are weeping in your secret place. Come to Jesus. Come as you are, brother. Hallelujah. To the Lamb of God. Opportunity is here. You repent and believe and be baptized in the name of the Lord for remission of your sins, my sister. You are Muslim, but you are dying. Jesus Christ is here. He's going to heal you. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter your religion, my brother. You are atheist, my brother, but you are dying. Jesus Christ is going to heal you. Hallelujah. Just call the name. He's going to heal you, brother. You don't even believe in him. Call Jesus. Eh? He's going to heal you. It does not depend on you. No, it is the nature of Jesus. He came to heal the sick. My brother, a man was sitting down, a blind man, hallelujah, Bartimaeus, was sitting down, hallelujah, Jesus Christ was passing by. He heard, hallelujah, the movement, he says, who is passing by? They said, Jesus of Nazareth is passing by. Oh, thank you, Jesus. The man starts crying out, son of David, son of David, have mercy on me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And Jesus Christ, he heard the man, turn around, say, call Bartimaeus to come here. Hallelujah. They said to the blind man, he's calling you. Ah, my brother, I'm telling you, he throws his mantle, he ran to Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Ah, Hosanna is in the house. Wow, opportunity is here, brother. Jesus Christ is here. Come as you are, my brother, come as you are. My brother, as Christ came to be, hallelujah. He came, my sister, hallelujah. Where well, last was was. Oh, thank you, Jesus. As Mary came, he says, Lord, if you have been here, my brother could not just die. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ said, believe you will see the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. Where did you bury Lazarus? He said, Lord, come and see. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And they went to the tomb. Jesus Christ said to them, take, a, take away the stone. Hallelujah. Remove that stone. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Martha says, Lord, he had been for four days in there. Hallelujah. There is bad order in there. Hallelujah. It says, Hallelujah. Believe, brother, believe. You will see the glory of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. It's a matter. I, I'm just keep on telling you. If you believe, you're going to see the glory of God, my sister. They took away the stone. He looked at me and said, Father, I thank you that you always hear me. Hallelujah. But I say this because of men standing up here for them to believe that you send me. Hallelujah. He looked down. He says, Lazarus, come forth. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He says, Lazarus, come forth. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. The man was dead for four days. He jumped where he was, my sister. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Lazarus, come forth. Hallelujah. Uh, you are dead in your sin. Come forth, brother. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. He says, Lazarus, to come forth. The man was dead, my sister. He came forth. He says, unwrap him and let him go. My sister, you are chained, brother. You are chained by sin. You are under the bondage of sin. You are God can set you free from sin. That's, that's why it makes sense. The word of God is saying that people are slaves to sin. And he has come to give you a new life. Whoever comes to him, he's not going to reject it. He's not going to reject it. God loves us. Amen. 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 Against my word against their word against everyone else's word. So like, who's right? That's how, are, how are you right? Why are you right? What makes you more right than the Krishnas? What makes you more right than Buddhists or atheists or Satanists? What makes you what makes you right okay so but the reason we're here is because we're it's not about me it's about the word of god it's about the message so that's what we see what that's what we seek to do we want to share the gospel with people because i believe that the word of god can set people, people don't want to hear it. what about the people who don't want to hear it like you don't want to hear about my atheism are you an atheist yeah can i ask you some questions about your your belief system okay it's not really a belief system <laughs> it's not really a belief system of a well, I think that the, the mistake that we, we make in this society is that there's neutrality. There's actually no neutrality neutrality, in when it comes to ideologies. You know, we all have uh, ways of thinking. So when we talk when we talk about atheism, it's, it's, it's the simple idea. I don't know how you want to how you want to word it, but it's basically rejecting that uh, God exists. Would you, would you say that that is that is what you believe? There is no tangible evidence for God. There's, there's 
evidence for evolution. There's, you know, evidence in the universe being an ever expanding like thing, but like there's no evidence of God. Okay. Because like any anything that they said in the Bible can't doesn't doesn't exist. You can't sustain or back up anything in the Bible with fact. Right. Because all here saying. What evidence do you have of, of, so, of this evolution? What, what is... Huh? What, what? So wait, wait, wait. Let, let, let's look, just have our conversation look, look, because look, I don't want to... Look at people, but even before... The but, even be, of Sodom and Gomorrah. but even there before, like, uh, I don't like... Yeah, I don't like... I don't like, uh, yeah, like, 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 like the reverberation. People, people are... No, no, like, we can... I'm going to be very respectful to you if you, if, if so you ever don't feel... Put the, don't put the mic on my face. Do you, you want to have a conversation? Just like, just conversation, right? But like... Um, like everybody, like now, it's like people want to listen, and and but by all means, like I'm not gonna be disrespectful to you. I just I just want to challenge some of the views, which is I, I believe that this culture that's what they need. We want we we should. What I want to do is I want to model a conversation that is respectful. I'm coming I'm coming as a Christian. You're you're coming as an atheist, and you and so I'm just gonna ask you some questions, and by no means I'm I'm trying to disrespect you. So the. If I put if I put the microphone, it's just so that other people can listen and so that we can get it in the camera. Yeah. Um, okay, but so what's your question? Okay, so so we're go, going back to basically like atheism is just rejecting the existence of God, right? Sort of. Like it's. Do you want to define it? For me, I guess like atheism is like yeah, non-belief in God at all. Non, all not like none of these religions. They're just. Right. Okay, cool. Now, even if you're an atheist or a theist, if you're a Christian, if you're any religion, we still, we all have to answer specific questions about life. You know, there's very basic questions that, how is it that we got here? What is it that you believe that, how is it that we got here? You never know when you're going to go. Fluke encounter. Sorry? Total chance. Okay, there you go. Perfect. So, so now, as as an atheist, the the best explanation that we that an atheist can give is that we just happen to be here by random chance, right? Now, but like that's like because we don't have any other evidence to say anything other than that, right? I mean, like we could have came here on like a comet, you know, from like a different planet. Right. Now, with that, with that ideology, then. We are, if we want to be consistent with that ideology, then we're going to try to answer, like from an atheistic perspective, you're going to try to answer, okay, so how do we define what's moral? What is right from wrong? Um, well, I mean, like, you define morality just basically by, like, simple kindness. You don't need that God to be kind. Right? So, so, but, so how, how can we, how, because I believe that the issues that we have in the culture, so if you look across all if you look across all religions, they all say don't kill, right? But why why shouldn't we kill as an atheist from an atheistic perspective? What's wrong with killing each other? Like we believe that animals that we just happen to be more evolved animals and animals eat each other. Why shouldn't we eat we each other? We have self awareness. We know eating each other isn't good or necessary because there's an abundance of other food. So like why would we kill each other over it? Some people used to, some like groups of humans do eat each other. Yeah. Yeah. Right? But how can you but how can you claim as an atheist, how can you claim that eating your neighbor is wrong if we just happen to be an animal? Do you, do you realize that there's no consistency? Well, I, mean, I mean like okay, it's only wrong if you think it's wrong. I because I was raised to believe that it's wrong. You know what I mean? So it's not wrong. But if I was raised in a society where like my only other food source was another human being <laughs> So, but, so you realize that that's the issue with, and, and that's why we love to talk about worldviews because the worldviews is gonna give you answer to so many questions about life. Like, what is the purpose of your life? What is the purpose of your life? To fucking eat, fuck, reproduce, and then die. Right. Right. So, so with that, like, like and then my generation or like my offspring will do it again, and then they'll do it again. And you know, they'll all fight each other too over bullshit concepts like this. <laughs> and it'll just keep going. Yes. Yeah, so and I think I, I, I agree with you. There's so many people that 
agree they mistreat each other and I apologize that's why like I want to model for people like a way to, to have a conversation so, like, when I was so being raised, one of the best things that I was ever told was you don't discuss things at the dinner table right politics and religion but like we should also have those in the public sphere too right because we all come from different backgrounds and we all have different ideas of what God is or like what the full discipline is but no one is absolutely 100% correct because that, that's just going be insane you can't, you can't be. but how, how did you come to that conclusion that nobody can how, how do you know that it, no one can be right because it's been like well over 2,000 years and we're still fucking talking about it. But does, it doesn't it doesn't matter if it, it, a lot of people don't agree. It? Just because a lot of people disagree, it doesn't necessarily mean that no one can be right. You understand that? Yeah, but it, like, in order for you to claim that there is no right, that, that no one is right, no, it, it would require you to have a lot of knowledge. It basically will put you on, at a place where you have so much knowledge to claim that uh, no one it's can be right. But you can't know within this realm. You can only speculate and like those feelings you get. And when you're in communities, it's really easy to feel stuff, right? I understand why people come to religion as a place to belong, right? You guys preach it. You're like, love. And you know, some people will be lost and they're like, I need love in my life. And that's really great for them if they can find that. But I don't think that they're right. They can believe it for themselves, but I don't think it's true for everyone. Because I've seen people live happy and successful, successful lives in all different walks of life, you know what I mean? Like, so like, how do you say which one's right? And what's the point in arguing with each other? Okay, or cool. like so trying to push each other around, like, you know, because you're, you guys are trying to get more people to join your congregation, right? Like, you want more people to believe in Jesus, but the Quran people want more people to believe in the Quran. You know, it, it just keeps going, and you guys are always going to fight. There's going to be a judgment. No, no we're not, we're not fighting. Like, we, we disagree, we disagree, but we're not fighting. I, I, I'm, enjoy, I'm really enjoying this conversation. And I, I, what I want to do is I want to model for people, because I believe, like, I believe again, it's, it's not about my interpretation. I believe that the Word of God gives answers and answers all these questions. and. That's what I want, I, I want to challenge you. I want you to go, go home, consider what I'm saying, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful to you, but you know, like, the way, so if you follow the, the line of reasoning, and if you follow, if, if you're trying to be consistent with your worldview, there's so many things that, that, that could be told. But when you look at Christianity, it answers so many other questions, and that's what we're here. What we want to do is like a very basic, I'm why not, why I- Why does taste like avocados? Why don't they taste like grapes? Like, Bible's gonna answer that. Yeah, but uh, science can though. But uh, what, what I'm trying to do is uh, like we, we we believe that the gospel is the power into salvation. We believe that the word of God can transform people's lives. And so, themselves? well, you have to listen to that. That the, what, what I'm saying because like, if if you're gonna keep a asking me questions, so th this is all this is all I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to do like basic what I want to share. Like I already listened to what what kind of like you how you understand what I'm what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to share the gospel with you. And what, what is the gospel? Is that the reason that things are messed up around the world is because we all, we all struggle. And this is this, it describes our heart. It describes the, the struggle with everyone. We don't want God to exist. That was my situation. We know, we don't need, we don't need God to show up in a physical form for people to believe. The word of God says that Everyone knows about God, but we're suppressing the truth. We don't want that to exist because God is inconvenient. Because our deeds, what we want to do is we want to, and you, how you describe, how you, how you, how you describe it. What is it that you want to do? You want to eat food. You want to. Bruno, I'm just saying, what is, and, what is the purpose of life? So, I mean, we all create our individual purposes, but like, what is so the general so, purpose of us is to survive. Right, like individual purpose is one thing, but like purpose of a species, where our purpose is to procreate. But so what we're trying to what we're trying to do is that the, the solid from if we put the Bible as the solid foundation, it's going to answer these questions because the struggle that we have, the reason we the, the reason we're we're fighting over and we're killing each other is it's not so much about it's not the Christians that that are killing. Uh, it's not just the religions that are fighting within themselves. It's it, ideologies have consequences on what we do. So yeah, if you're an atheist, you push if, the ideologies, especially the really like touchy ones like this, like these ones cause people to fight. 
right? Well, we're not fighting. We're not. We're not fighting because we're trying to. Oh, sorry. Uh, see, look, now I almost started fighting. But anyway, <laughs> um, we're trying to create like a model, right? So we're trying very hard to keep ourselves contained. You're a fucking model. No, I'm not. I'm, ser I'm seriously not. I just want. I, I just. Hey, wait, I'm just sharing hey, this hey, ideology hey, because I believe that it can transform people's life. Let me ask you a question. Want... Let me ask a question. Yeah. You said that the purpose of life is to procreate. Yeah, procreate. So homosexual. So homosexuality is wrong. Um, no. <laughs> so you see, you see the struggle that we find. No, no, that, that's hypocrisy. That's hypocrisy. You said the purpose of the vice create, but you say homosexuality is wrong. Yeah, but we don't all have to recreate. I mean, like, what if homosexuals produce like an army of Trumps? That'd be bad. So maybe it is a good thing that they're. No, so I'm what, what so we realize how we become subjective. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, it becomes it, it becomes subjective. You think that that's right, and then and then the neighbor is gonna think, think something different, right and wrong. and then right because people the thing, people are not able to reason and respect each other, then it, that's what caused strife. Right. So when 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 we look at the word of God as describing answers to all these main questions, that if we submit to it, it's gonna it's gonna bring. Is gonna is gonna answer why is it that we're here? We're not. What I believe as a Christian is we're not we're not the product of random chance. I don't believe that we come from monkeys, and because I was created in the image of God, that's why I shouldn't kill you. I shouldn't kill the neighbor. I shouldn't kill the person that disagrees with you because we're created in the image of God. Now, what humans did? Is the image an ideology? Is the image an ideology or a physical form? Because like. It's, it's what Genesis uh, Genesis talk about that God when God created humans he created it in the image of God and consistent with that then that's why we can say you are have intrinsic value that you should be respected everyone every life should be respected and from there you have ramifications from think the social issues that we have should we kill babies in the womb so the because we are created in the image of God, that's why I can say consistently, we shouldn't kill them. We shouldn't murder babies because they are created in the image of God, right? And so from there, is like, it starts answering so, so many questions. Now morality is not, is not subjective. It's not what you think and what I think. It's what the word of God says because he created, we live, even if people wanna, we not, we wanna deny the existence of God, we still live in God's world. Morality is subjective because 20 years ago, in the greater scheme of society, gay people were still prosecuted publicly. I mean, it wasn't. It's only been in the last 20 years, really, that people can be as open. I know, because I grew up in small town Ontario, I've seen people literally beat somebody to death because of their sexuality. And, I, and I, I'm, I'm the first one to condemn that. Because it, that's, that's, that's consistent with my worldview. With my worldview, I can say that killing your neighbor is wrong. It's totally, it's okay. not subjective. It's not what I think. So, I it's question, because they are created in the image of there's, God, they shouldn't be killed. There's, now, there's on your worldview, give me, one, give me one second. Uh, in your worldview, that's not consistent. Killing, in, in under your worldview, killing your neighbor is just, uh, we're just animals. Why, why don't we kill each other out? So it's, it's, not, it's not consistent. So, I, I agree with you in the sense that you're saying we shouldn't do that, but on your worldview, it's not consistent. Yeah, I, got, I got a question, and I'm wondering, are these thrown into the Bible just to like confuse people like me? But like, there's one that says, stone thy neighbor if they worship another deity, or you know, kill your wife if she commits adultery. Those are very real passages in the Bible. Are those to be just open to interpretation? <laughs> but like, I mean, I love, like, I it's very the, 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 real, right? Like, yeah. it's like, stone them if they don't believe in some things, right? And you know, like, in Islam right now, like, you know, there's still, like, Saudi Arabia, people still get publicly stoned to death because of God. And like, what made us different is we're like, oh, we're going to change the Bible a little bit, take out some of these passages, because they have. I mean, the Bible is probably the most altered and rewritten book in all of humanity. Okay, cool. There's I, more, I, I love, version, there's oh, more yeah, versions just, of the Bible than there are. <laughs> you, just, you just came with so many questions all at the same time. So I'm trying. To, I'm, I'm trying to give you like. So like, first I want to share the gospel. Right? The, the gospel is the power into salvation. God can say God can set people free. So the, so let, let me just give you like an overview of, of yes. what Christianity is. What the message is that is not about me is what the Word of God says that 
God loved the world, so God created us. We decided, humans decided, the story of Adam and Eve is your story, is, is your story and my story. Is that we don't want God to exist, we want to suppress the truth of God, and we want to, we want to be autonomous, we want to decide what's right from wrong. That's the, that's the core issue with, with humans. That's the core of sin. Now, because of that, we see so much chaos. Because now, if we're trying to, if, if, if it's, again, if it's subjective, some people think that killing them is wrong. Some people that think that eating them is, 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 is right. And, and, and how do, how do we de de decide? And, and, and it, it, in your world, you're consistent to say, well, I think this and you think that, and then we can go back and forth, back and forth. But what I'm trying to get to, to is that there's objective reality, there's objective truth, yeah. because God created it. Now, Jesus came into the world, Jesus came into the picture, he came into this world to show us an example, to die for us, to deal with the problem of sin. And whoever puts their faith in Jesus can be set free. And Christianity is not about, stop doing this, stop doing that. It's from that desire that humans, before we come to God, we want to be the, the ones that decide everything. When we submit ourselves to Jesus, when we humble ourselves, we recognize, you know what? The, li the, li the lifestyle that I'm pursuing is destroying me. God can do something in, in, in your life. If you don't, if you don't like that message, it, it's, it's just, that, it's, it's just describing. It's, it's, it's mostly the delivery of it. Because yeah, we should love each other. But why do we have to love each other? Because we fear somebody. I love people because it's innate to me. We're all human. You know. Then again, it's also my personality type. You know. So, so, so okay. let, me, let, let me ask you a question. If if you were to find that Jesus is the true Son of God, and he and he came to die for you, and he loves you, would you give your life to Jesus? If he came to me, if you knew that as a fact that that is true, would you submit to Jesus? Would you make him the king of your life? No. Because I, I don't know that he's true, and I can't. No, exactly. I, I'm just giving you a hypothetical. Yeah, I know, but I, so, like you so the problem, so the real. problem, the I problem is not is, the problem is, is not a logical problem. Is that you want to suppress the truth? But no, it's not. That, that, that's what is what the word of God describes. I, I, I don't mean to I don't mean to disrespect you or anything. That's what the word of God says. Like we can if you can look up Romans uh, chapter one, it says that people are suppressing the truth because of their unrighteousness. It's because ultimately, and I, and I'm not coming to you like I'm better than you. Yeah. Like I, I was pursuing everything that I thought that was gonna fulfill well, me, make me happy, because you and I was suppressing God. the truth. I was suppressing the truth because I didn't want God to exist. And it says, For what can be known about God is plain to them, become, because God has shown it to them. For His invisible attribute, namely His eternal power, divine nature, have been clearly perceived ever since the creation. We can know that God exists by the creation. For although they knew God, they did not honor Him as God or give thanks to Him. Be but they became futile in their thinking. When we deny God, we become futile. That's what the Word of God says. We become fool. We start. We start trying to define things. Let's go this way, Kadir. We start trying to define things by what we think. Thanks. But then we're completely. We become fools, and it says. Claiming to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images resembling man and birds and animals creeping. Therefore, God gave them up to the lust of their hearts and impurity. Is it, is it, when, when, we deny, when people want to deny God, it's, it's found in Romans, in the, in the, in the Bible. It's written by Paul. That we believe, we believe as Christian is is that is an inspired word of God is the inspired word of God, and 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 we that's what we believe. So now this believe gives answers. Knew? Okay, so would you believe anybody new who came up? What if some dude next week was like, "Yo, guys, I, I just updated the Bible again. I think I'm the second coming of Christ." Would you believe him? No. So when do you know? And if he's going to come. How do we know we haven't already killed him because we called him a false god? How do we know we're not doomed? Because we seem to reject every new messiah that comes. You know, he says there's going to be a second coming, right? What if Muhammad wasn't? 
Okay, but, but, but I, 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 we, we were talking, but we were talking about before. If we were talking about is that I asked you a hypothetical question that if you, if Jesus, if you knew for a fact that Jesus was truth, and you said you wouldn't want to make him the, the king of your life, you wouldn't want so, me to make him king. I don't think if Jesus was true and he was like truly preaching the love, he would does and he would have the self assurance and reassurance to know that. He doesn't need to be classified as a king. He walked among people. He was always at the same level as what I was taught. He never rose above anybody. A king rises above. But like, in my opinion, if you were to be true, truly righteous, you would not be on a pedestal. You'd be with the common men and women. And that, that's what he did. But it's ultimately pointing to the fact that he is the king of kings. And he came, the reason he came, the reason, the reason he came is to set us free from our sin. Lifestyles that are destructive. And so God loves you. God loves you. But what he wants you is for you to submit to him. Is to recognize that your sin is going to be, is going to destroy you. And, 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 I, and I totally get you because, again, I, I, I was a sinner. I was the most messed up sinner. And God saved me from myself. I was a slave of sin. And that's what that's stopping yourself. You needed God to do it. Yeah, I, 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 I believe that God is very is, is in control in, in, uh, over people's life, but there is some hu there is human responsibility. And what we're trying to the message that we preach is repentance. It's coming to a place where we recognize, you know what? I pursued the things I pursued according to my own wisdom, and it has not worked. And we're telling people, repent, turn to Him, turn to Jesus. Jesus can make you whole. Je the Word of God can give you the answers that is consistent. Because I can, I can. Uh, you're you're an intelligent person. You're not the average. But like not a lot of people are gonna stand up here and gonna engage in a conversation the way you've done it. That you you've done it, it respectfully toward, towards me, and I appre and, appre and appreciate it. There's no point fighting. Hey Amen. I believe that too. Like I believe. What do I believe? So even though I'm non, I don't believe in God, but I do believe in a worldview. I do have a worldview. I believe that like everybody is wrong. I bet there. Are you wrong about that? Yeah. Aren't totally. you wrong? Yes, yeah, totally. Because so you should start believing. So you should start believing then. That's the thing, though. Like I, I don't want to. I can't. I personally cannot pick any particular doctrine to follow along. But if it works for somebody, it's going to work for them, right? And that's the idea that like preaching it is fine if you can get people to come along with it but to say you're absolutely right and tell other people they're wrong and then use your doctrines to you know discriminate against people because they have a different lifestyle choice and i'm not saying you guys particularly but i do know there are groups of people who come out here and they're very full of hate they they claim they have jesus in their life but they literally are on the street saying god hates bangs god hates queers god hates Oprah." like we're not them yeah i know you're not them and i, don't, I respect that because like <laughs> That's not a good model. Bro, if you die, where are you gonna go? I don't know. Six feet in the ground. And then where does your soul go? Recycle. Energy. It, no, do you believe that? I believe. What energy doesn't what? Energy doesn't die. So where's your energy gonna? Where's your energy gonna go? It dissipates. It no, no. Energy doesn't die. Listen, brother. Listen, brother. This is important. This is important. This is important. This is important. This is very important. The energy that you speak of is, is your soul. It's your spirit, right? It has to go somewhere. Technically, even according to your worldview, it has to go somewhere, right? Um, yeah, but like that, where isn't? Doesn't have to be a thing or a person. It just can just go off. There's. It has to be a thing. It doesn't have to be a thing. There's literally like static electricity all around us. We emit. What is what is static electricity? Is that a thing? Yes. Okay, so it has to be a thing. That, that's my point. So it's an, it's, it's energy. That's is energy a thing? Yeah. Energy. Okay, so it has to be a thing. That's my point. Okay, so it is a thing. Your spirit is a thing. Energy is a thing. Whatever you describe is a thing. Everything that you describe is a thing. So this thing that that we're, that my brother was speaking of is a soul, is a spirit. And the thing is, if you reject Christ on this plane, if you reject Christ now, if you're basically what you're saying is you don't want that thing to be with God. Christ, no listen, Christ makes sure that thing goes to God. So by you saying, oh, there is no God and I don't want Jesus, what you're saying is you want that thing to be separated from love. You want that thing to be separated from God and you will get your wish according to your own um, um, omission.
And that's what my brother is trying to say. So it, it, it comes down to a, an eternal mindset and an eternal decision. You can't, look up, you can't look at everything that we see and just think this is it. You even know this is not it. You said that you, you go somewhere. So we have to answer. The only person, wait, 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 and then I'll let you speak. The only person that ever came back from death to give us the answer was Christ Jesus. So he's the only one that we can trust to tell us what happens when you die. And he said that you have one time to die and then judgment. The Bible says to be absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. So, so that's exactly what happens. The only person who ever recorded to beat death and come back and tell it how it is is Christ Jesus and he's telling you how you make how to make sure you that thing that spirit that energy can be with him one day and that's what the gospel of Jesus Christ is God bless you brother very nice to meet you man hey take care have a good one he loves you so much he loves you so much that he gave his only begotten right, we'll, we'll probably, son we'll like that whosoever days. believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life that is a beautiful beautiful thing he loves you